Hey there, YouTube. Scott Stevens here. How are you doing this evening? Welcome to another edition of WWE 2K22. This is Universe. It is World Championship Wrestling Universe. WCW. Episode number 34. Uh-oh. I just messed up. Hold on. Gotta fix this. There we go. All right, much better, much better. All right, I hope everybody had a good day today. We have Thunder coming at you tonight. And as usual, it is a very solid card. Hey there, guys. How are you doing tonight? Thanks for joining. Hope you're doing well. We, uh... Actually, we were supposed to get the announcement uh, half an hour ago on who is going to be honored at the Legends Lunch on the 23rd. And I missed the announcement. So I don't know who's being honored. So let's see. Here we go. Oh, look at that. They're going to honor Joe Pilardi, my buddy. Joe's an awesome guy. And the Freedom Rider, Mike Sullivan. Very cool. They're also going to remember Francisco Chazzo. That's cool. Very cool. Very good. All right. So Joe Pilardi's going to be honored. That's good. Joe's my buddy. Joe's, Joe's a really good guy. He's a former NWA... I don't know what they call what they call him. He wasn't the heavyweight champion. He was the light heavyweight champion, I believe, back in his day. And Joe is a really, really nice guy, man. Very good friend of mine. So that's cool. That's good. I'm glad for him. Not doing too bad, guys. Me, not doing too bad at all. First, I want to remind everybody, first and foremost, tomorrow's live stream will be at 4.30. 4.30. Devils are playing. And I figure if I do one at 4 30 i can still get the stream in and watch the game so tomorrow night's live stream will be at 4 30 okay so tonight we have thunder by the way last night's devil's game was almost very disappointing i didn't get to watch it but i did listen to it on the radio feed they blew a three to one lead and won it late so that was cool luke hughes man he got run over I saw the highlights this morning. He got run over, man. He he's I don't know. He's got a, a huge upside to it, but man, he his learning curve is very steep. He he is a defensive liability a lot of the time. And he got crushed last night. That looked like a Scott Stevens hit. And it led directly to a goal. I wouldn't care if he got run over, but it led to a goal. And a lot of Luke Hughes' mistakes are ending up in the back of our net and we don't need any help. They're doing a fine job of that on their own, so um, not a uh, not a good uh, not a good combination. He needs to step it up for sure. All right, so tonight is Thunder. We are a week and a half away from sold out. Let's take a look at tonight's action. Tonight's card preview is brought to you by Pure Hemp Botanicals. Get fifty dollars off every single order using the link in the description below for Pure Hemp Botanicals. All right, so first match of the evening. You can see it right there. It's a good tag team match. The Soul Patrol is here. Tony Ellis and Rocky Johnson, they are battling the Dirty Dogs tonight. Jimmy Superfly Snooker taking on Nick Bockwinkle. Diamond Dallas Page squares off against Tito Santana. Razor Ramon takes on Doink the Clown. Dusty Rhodes is in the house, the American Dream. He'll go up against the rookie Dolph Ziggler. Kerry Von Erich in his final singles match before the Von Erichs tag team is put back together. He will square off against the Honky Tonk Man. John Cena in the house. We haven't seen him in WCW yet. He'll be taking on The Miz. And tonight's main event, the champions are here. The Brothers of Destruction have a non-title bout against the Road Warriors. So let's send it down to ringside. We'll start the show, and then we will start the action. Yeah, Luke Hughes picked up a loose puck behind the, behind his net last night, and 
had his head down and got run over. The puck ended up right up right out in front of the net and in the net. And it's sad, man. It's, he he has a very steep learning curve, man. He's he's good on offense, but he is a defensive liability, and that needs to change if he's going to be a long term top four defenseman for the Devils in the future. We welcome you to this unforgettable night of WWE action. Tonight's show has all the makings of an instant classic. I can't wait anymore. Let's go. We are in Providence, Rhode Island at the Providence Civic Center. I've been there many times. I don't know if the place is still standing or not. But I was there a long time ago. And sold out crowd, Providence Civic Center. The Providence Bruins used to play there back in the AHL. I don't even know if they're still a team. I think they are. But I don't know if they still play there or not. Who cares, right? All right, first match of the evening, the Soul Patrol taking on the Dirty Dogs. Godspeed has his pick in already. He's going to go with the uh, Dirty Dogs. I am going to go with the Dirty Dogs as well. Maurice, you never know what Maurice is going to do. As we've seen in the past, she is not against interfering in the match. She's cost her team some matches, and she's also got them some victories. So you got to keep an eye out on Maurice, which is not a bad thing to have to do. The Soul Patrol and the Dirty Dogs. The dogs are the slight favorite coming in. Let's send it down to ringside here at the Providence Civic Center for the beginning of tonight's Action on Thunder. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring, accompanied by Marie's. At a combined weight of 439 pounds, the Miz and Dolph Ziggler, the tag division, the Dirty Dogs. Competitive as of late, every duo looking to show why they run things around here. You know, I thought it was funny. Some uh, genius left me a comment this morning on my channel here, on uh, one of my videos that went up yesterday suggesting that I should have the uh, wrestlers theme music play while they're coming to the ring and um, he thinks it's a very good idea because my viewers and my fans will be very excited as the music plays and um, he was just making it as a suggestion <laughs> I looked at his channel he has no subscribers and no content The Soul Patrol, Rocky Johnson, and Tony Atlas. Yeah, he thought it would be a good idea, you know, if we had the, the theme music playing. So I pointed out, obviously he knows nothing about the game. I didn't point that out, because, but obviously he doesn't know anything, because he would know that YouTube has an agreement with WWE to suppress the music because I would rather have the music play so everybody can hear it. But I appreciated his comment and suggestion on uh, how to make my channel better when he has zero subscribers and zero followers. And I hope he, <laughs> I hope he comes and joins the stream. Some people, man, they got balls. Look at this. The Miz tossed the rip over the rope out into the apron. Tony Ellis made him pay for that. Tony Ellis and the Miz start the bout off. Sellout crowd here at the Providence Civic Center. Tony Atlas, Mr. USA, military press on the Miz, dropping him face first down on the canvas. And he went for a boot to the chest, and the Miz made a nice reversal with a boot of his own. Yeah, you got to love it when people who don't have any content on their channel offer suggestions. Wow, the Miz. Good kick there right to the face of Tony Atlas. And there's the tag, Dolph Ziggler. They call that the foot DDT. Hurts the knee for sure. Ziggler comes in after the tag, goes for the quick cover. Tony Atlas kicks out, stands up, and eats the bottom of Dolph Ziggler's boot. 
two boots to the face now. Tony Atlas is taken. Ziegler makes the tag. Miz is back in. Shinbreaker. And Tony Atlas is down once again. Overhand right by the Miz. And neckbreaker. Backbreaker, neckbreaker. Good combination by the Miz. And now he's going to give him some good old-fashioned punches right to the face. And he's going to go for a pin. Atlas has... Shoulders down. I don't know, guys. Some some dude made a comment. Some guy left a comment on uh, one of my videos from yesterday. I don't know who he is. Nice move there by The Miz. I, I don't know who he is, guys. He's just some guy. Left a comment in one of my videos about how I should excite the viewers by putting the theme music on that's my point he, he has no subscribers and no content on his channel I don't mind if somebody who has a channel wants to offer some constructive criticism and stuff on my channel that's fine it's always welcome but if you got no subscribers and no followers maybe you shouldn't be making suggestions he clearly doesn't know how this game works or he would know why there was no music on the intros <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Rocky Johnson with a Russian leg sweep on Dolph Ziggler. He's in off the tag. Rocky makes the tag. His son is one of the most hated men in WWE right now. For good reason. I bet he didn't see that coming. The Miz is still out on the floor. Tony Atlas has the show stealer up and tossing him down to the canvas and Tony Atlas showing off why he was Mr. USA. But while he was doing that, Ziggler got up. Nice German suplex. Came right up behind him. Ziggler saw the opening, and now he's rubbing Tony Atlas's face into the canvas. Big right forearm, and Tony Atlas is down. Ziggler's going to drag him away from the ropes a little bit and go for a cover. Not even a one count. Rocky was coming in to break it up, but he didn't have to. Tony Atlas kicked out pretty quick. Atlas now with a German suplex. Is he going to do another one? Nope. Head over heels, clothesline. Tony Atlas just almost decapitated Dolph Ziggler. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's funny, Godspeed. I just thought it was funny. He was offering me suggestions on my channel. He has no content. Start counting, Saxton. One, two, and clearly he doesn't know anything three, about the game because everybody that knows anything about the game knows why you can't hear the introductions. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. That was a very long vertical suplex. A couple of elbows to the midsection and Ziggler reverses things. He went for a back elbow and missed. Doesn't stop him, though. Oh, Tony says, I'm not selling it. I'm not going into the ropes. Neither the midsection. Here comes Tony Atlas. End of days, and that might be the end of Dolph. Atlas with the cover. And he got him. The Soul Patrol gets the victory. Oh, I was talking about the Rock and Roman, yeah. Everybody hates the Rock right now. The Soul Patrol, Rocky Johnson and Tony Atlas. Right Solid victory the over the Dirty Dogs. And that will bump them up a couple of spots in the tag team rankings. Indeed, it was a good match. Got to be two and a half stars is your official rating. Yeah, I was talking about The Rock and, and Roman Reigns. The, the Rock is one of the most hated men in WWE right now. Everybody's pissed off at him. And he didn't see that coming. That's the best part. He thought he was going to be accepted, and they, the crowd was going to pop, and everybody was going to love him, and it's turning out to be quite the opposite, and I think that is kind of funny because he's got no business stepping into the ring anymore. He doesn't need to. Yeah, whatever. That's my own personal opinion. Next match is Superfly Jimmy Snuka battling Nick Bockwinkle. This one should be a good one. I'm going to go with Superfly as my pick for victory. What do you guys think?
Yeah, I think I think that uh, uh, Dwayne Johnson gains nothing by getting in the ring right now. He doesn't have to get in the ring. He's got more money than God. He doesn't need to put his body through that. It's a big money match, guys. But yeah, but he doesn't need money. Godsby says Superfly is going to come out victorious in this one. The Rock doesn't need the money. And he doesn't have anything to prove. And he doesn't need to put his body through the, the rigors of training for the match and then the match itself and then possibly more than one match. The following contest I think it's not a good decision. But what do I know? The Superfly, Jimmy Snuka, here at the Providence Civic Center on Thunder. Looking to electrify this crowd. Fans here in Rhode Island are cheering him. We are about to see something good. And his opponent from Beverly Hills, California, weighing in at 228 pounds, Nick Buck. Buck. Winkle, Winters. Nick Bockwinkle, squaring off against Superfly Jimmy Snuka. Bachwinkle, of course, was the longtime AWA right, world champion. Came over here to WCW after the AWA went bankrupt, on, hoping to move himself into consideration for a title shot down the road. He's pretty far down the rankings right now. A win over the Superfly would certainly bump him up. A few rungs in the WCW rankings, no question about that. Fans really not taking too kindly to Mr. Bockwinkle. And there's the bell, and we are off. The super fly and Nick Bockwinkle. I'm not ready to crown him as the next big thing just yet, but his performance in this match could sway me. Big You're chop by Snuka. Second rope, top side. rope. Look at all that effort for the arm drag. Tired of in the Simple arm drag. Snuka makes it look all kinds of difficult and complex. Several punches to the face. Snuka thinks he has him. This isn't a street fight with some average Joe. That's Nick Bockwinkle. You got to do a lot more than that. Maybe if you were at Billy's Bar and Grill, you might punch a guy six times in the face and get a pinfall, but not on Nick Bockwinkle. Overhand right by Bockwinkle. Drop kick and snook us out onto the floor. To the outside. This could get wild. Knee drop right to the forehead. Bockwinkle, now he's going to drop an elbow right to the nose. Right smack in the middle of Snooker's face. Another knee drop to the face. Snook is hurting right now. Another knee drop. Bockwinkle pummeling Snooker. Stomps on his face one more time. Now Snooker comes up with a kick, but cannot get anything sustained going. Bockwinkle with another takedown. Stomps on the back of Snooker's head. Refs count is at five now. What's Bockwinkle going to do? Picking up Snooker, big right hand to the side of the head. Snooker with the reversal and a roundhouse kick. Bockwinkle's down. Snooker gets back into the ring at the count of seven. Bockwinkle is stunned. His face is red. That roundhouse caught him flush, but he gets back into the ring at the count of eight. And he walks into a Jimmy Snooker attack. Superfly has him up. Bockwinkle sneaks behind him. Nicely done by Bockwinkle. And there's a kidney shot off the ropes, and a dooley. Snook is down once again. Armbar kick to the midsection. That'll bruise a rib. Maybe crack one. Nick Bockwinkle heading up to the top rope. Look at the leg drop. Wow, plenty of height on that one. 
Exactly. Just like a guillotine across the throat. Snook is in trouble, having a hard time Take catching his down. breath. Bockwinkle stepping for? through, lining him up, the setting him up. Surfboard face plant. There it is. Snook a face first into the canvas, and he's stunned right now. Bockwinkle goes for a pin. He may get him. He's got the leg hooked. Two count. Snook a kicks out on adrenaline only there. Bockwinkle. Nice sequence of moves. Has Snooker in trouble. Now he locks in the sharpshooter. He's got the sharpshooter. I don't know if Snooker can reach the ropes or not. Bockwinkle cinching down. Bach, uh, Snooker's in trouble. You can see the look of pain in his face. Bockwinkle let it go. And look at this submission hold. All the pressure on the knee there. Snook is being manhandled by Nick Bockwinkle, who decides to head up to the top turnbuckle one more time. Another diving leg drop right across the throat. Plenty of height on that, plenty of power coming down across the throat, and Snooker is done. Bockwinkle with the three count on Superfly Jimmy Snooker. I don't think a lot of people saw that one coming. Bockwinkle. Nick Bockwinkle with a decisive win over the Superfly Jimmy Snuka here in Providence. Two stars is your match rating. Bockwinkle puts Snuka away with a three count diving leg drop. Man, that is, he's getting probably eight, nine feet in the air when he's jumping off that top turnbuckle. Letting gravity do its thing as the leg comes crashing down on the throat. Makes it hard to breathe. Just enough to stun a man for the three count. So Bockwinkle is victorious over Superfly Jimmy Snuka. Next up we have Diamond Dallas Page. DDP going up against Tito Santana here on Thunder. I'm going to go with Tito Santana on this one. Godspeed is picking... Diamond Dallas Page. I'm kind of I'm kind of tired of watching Diamond Dallas Page. And actually, we got 160 guys on the roster, and they keep giving him a big push. They keep pushing Razor Ramon too, but I don't mind watching him. But I really don't care about Diamond Dallas Page. Maybe after the next pay per view, that'll jog things up a bit, and he won't get as big of a push as he's been getting. So I'm going with Tito Santana tonight because I'm hoping Tito will kick the shit out of him. Let's send it down to ringside and get your introductions. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from New Jersey. Weighing in at 259 pounds, Diamond Dallas Page. The WWE Universe delivering quite a reaction. Perhaps the most highly anticipated match of the night. I highly doubt that, sir. The most highly anticipated match of the night may be the main event. Which is why it might be the main event. Brothers of Destruction are here in Providence tonight. And his opponent from El Paso, Texas, weighing in at 247 pounds, Tito Santana. This is someone I can give my full support to, someone who has the guts to stand up for what's right. What are they, a knight in shining armor? Give me a break. <laughs> Arriba, Tito Santana. Going up against Diamond Dallas Page here tonight on Thunder. Sellout crowd here at the Providence Civic Center. And just a reminder once again, tomorrow night's live stream will be at 4.30 Eastern Time. 4.30 as we bring you WCW's Saturday night. He is in perhaps the best shape of his career, and he will need that with the competition level this high. You're hey, right. Diamond Dallas Page is pretty tough in this game anyway. And here 
And we are underway. Page tossing Tito to the corner to start things off. Goes right after the shoulder. Uh-oh, Page looking around. There it is, running Bulldog. And he is in control of the bout right away. DDP up on the second rope. Diving leg drop right across Tito's throat. Making it hard for him to breathe. Tito gets up, throws a nice double-fisted reversal there. And DDP's going to do a reversal of his own elbow to the midsection. And he Irish whips Tito into the turnbuckles hard. Follows up with a right hand and a boot to the midsection. And he's trying to choke him out, but Tito caught it. Nicely done by Santana. Nice reversal. He did not want to get choked out by that boot. Tito's heading outside the ropes. Hops up to the top turnbuckle. Tito Santana looking to fly. Chop to the top of the head. DDP is down. He blocks the punch, and Diamond Dallas Page reverses things. He's got Tito up. Power bomb, spinning power bomb. I think Tito hit his head when he came down. DDP stomping on his fingers. And he's off the ropes. DDP running knee lift into a neck breaker. Nice move there by DDP, and Tito's in trouble. Nice reversal by Tito every time I say he's in trouble. He throws up a nice reversal. Tito tossing DDP over the rope out into the ring apron. Big right hand. DDP just holding on to that top rope. And here's a drop kick by Tito. And DDP is out on the floor here at the Providence Civic Center the hard way. Very thin mat you can see out on that concrete floor. So any, any floor action tonight you're going to feel. The mat is very thin. Tito tossing DDP hard into those steel steps. Those are pointed sharp on the edge. That'll cut you, let alone break a rib. Tito behind him. Elbow by DDP. Nicely done for the reversal. Russian leg sweep out on the floor. Hey, buddy. Thanks for joining. Hope you're doing well over there. Page gets back into the ring and right back out. Resets the count. Tito's still stunned. Page has him up. Bringing him over to the ring. What is he going to do? Drops his face on the ring apron. Tito's in trouble. No padding out there. That hurts. Look at Diamond Dallas Page showing off those boxing skills. Solid shots to Tito Santana's head. And look at that. DDP went for a suplex. Tito turned it into a cross body block. Nicely done. Went for a knee. And he missed. Looks like Tito hurt his knee on that one. DDP is back in the ring. Tito's talking to the fans at ringside. Gets back in. At the count of six, right into a fireman's carry. DDP was waiting for him. Drops him and pounds him in the face. Right hand square to the center of Tito's face. And he got a two count out of it. DDP gets a two count. Tito's on the ropes here. Boots in the midsection. DDP brings him in. He's got him up. Beautiful diamond cutter. And he's not done. There's another one. He just created a prime opportunity. That could be all for Tito Santana. DDP dragging him to the center of the ring. He's going to go for the pinfall. The shoulders are down. The leg is hooked. That could be all. And it is Diamond Dallas Page with a three count on Tito Santana. A double diamond cutter and Santana is sent packing. Here is your winner, Diamond Dallas Page. What an emphatic victory, guys. No contest. That's why they call it light work. Cole. It certainly was a decisive win. Diamond Dallas Page, little resistance from Tito Santana.
Official match rating is two and a half stars. DDP with the three count on Tito Santana. Thanks to a double diamond cutter. Tito did not look good. That was not one of his better performances. He might not want to watch the tape on that one. Fourth match of the evening, and it's probably the best one. We'll see if it turns out to be that way. Doink the Clown in the house taking on Razor Ramon. Doink obviously been in a feud with Batista for several weeks, so we'll have to keep an eye out and see if Batista's in the house. I haven't had any sightings. Godsby says Razor Ramon's going to get the victory. I'm going to go with the clown. What do you guys think? Dripping gold head to toe, Chico. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 287 pounds, the bad guy, Razor Ramon. Remember his incredible ladder match at WrestleMania 10 against Shawn Michaels? How, who, can, who can forget that? It was a defining moment in WWE history, and it paved the way for some of the greatest superstars of this era. Those days are long gone for Razor now. But he's been a little better as of late. Okay, maybe just Razor. Byron, you could somehow make the sun less cool. <laughs> Razor has a tough test in front of him tonight. This guy here doesn't play any games. Well, he kind of does. And his opponent from parts unknown. Weighing in at 243 pounds. Doink! The clown! More than just sneaky tricks. Byron, he's coming over your way. No, no, stay away from me, you evil clown. Oh, you're right, Cole. Doink is more than just tricks. He also possesses amazing technical wrestling skills and high-flying attacks. Is he gone yet? Yeah, go ahead, Saxton. Look now. Not to mention, he's got a bag of tricks up his sleeve like not many do who get in the ring. You never know what's going to happen with Doink in the, in the ring. We haven't seen any of his specialty stuff. Here in the universe, he's got the mini me. He's got the uh, what? What is it? When the lights go out, he's got all kinds of tricks. We have not seen a single one. He's been uh, on the active roster now for about almost uh, what a month, month and a half now. He's been feuding with Batista. Tonight he's going up against Razor Ramon here at the Providence Civic Center, and Dark off to a pretty good start. Boot to the chest. And Razor Ramon. Like biting off the digits. Looking for a digit sandwich. Dropping the knee across the bicep. And Razor Ramon not off to a good start here tonight at all. Stomping on his face. Doink the Clown. Doink lost to Batista last night. It was kind of a decisive win in Batista's favor. So Doink will be looking for a solid performance here tonight and kind of get things turned back around. Razor Ramon out in the ring apron. Drop kicked by the Clown. And Razor is out on the floor. Doink follows him out there. Continues stomping away on him. Went for a drop kick. Razor got out of the way. Reversal by the Clown. Eye rake by Razor. He's got Doink up. Brings him over to the ring apron and drops his face across it. That unpadded ring apron there. That hurt. And Razor tosses the Clown into the steel ring post. 
Nice reversal by Doink. After he ate some iron. Wow, an atomic drop onto the floor. Doink in trouble. Ref's count is at six. Doink's not in trouble. Razor's in trouble. Count is at six, though. Neither man seems to be in a rush to get back in. Referee doesn't seem to be in a rush to continue the count either. Finally gets to seven. Doink slams Razor into the commentator's table. Gets back in the ring. The count is at eight. He's looking prime for a count out victory here. The count is at nine. If Doink stays in the clown, he's going to get a count out victory. And he does. Wow, what a crappy match. Doink the Clown gets the win by Here count out. I think Razor hit his head on that commentator table. Might have knocked him out. Because Doink tossed him over there. He hit it hard and he did not get up. And he got counted out. Yeah, that's a one star match right there. Absolutely. Fans not happy with that one. I think Razor Ramon might have got hurt. Doink the Clown victorious by way of a count out. He tossed Razor hard into that commentator table, and I think Razor might have hit his head and knocked himself out because he fell down and he did not get back up, even though he was in danger of being counted out. So that was a disappointing first half of action here on Thunder at the Providence Civic Center in Rhode Island. Let's take a look at what happened to get us here. The Soul Patrol were victorious over the Dirty Dogs to start things off. That really wasn't a bad match. Nick Bockwinkle got a victory over Superfly Jimmy Snooker. Not many people saw that one coming. Diamond Dallas Page got the win over Tito Santana. And as you just saw, Doink the Clown, a winner via countout over Razor Ramon. Let's take a look at what's coming up. We got the American Dream in the house. Dusty Rhodes will be taking on the rookie Dolph Ziggler. Kerry Von Erich in his final singles match will be squaring off against the Honky Tonk Man. John Cena battles The Miz. John Cena making his WCW debut tonight. And the Brothers of Destruction, your World Tag Team title holders, have a non-title match against the Road Warriors. Tonight's second half of action is brought to you by Fanatics. Officially licensed everything. Get great deals on sports apparel, sports memorabilia, everything sports related. Use the link below in the description and get some fantastic deals daily at Fanatics. All right, so, and a reminder once again, too, tomorrow's live stream, 4.30 Eastern Time, not 6.30. Note the special starting time tomorrow night, 4.30. All right, so, second half of action about to get underway. We have the rookie Dolph Ziggler going up against Dusty Rose. I'm never going to go against Dusty. Godspeed's going to. He's going to choose the rookie. I'm picking Dusty Rose to get the victory. What do you guys think? The American Dream is in the house, and I believe, I'm pretty sure, this is Dusty Rhodes' WCW debut here tonight, happening on Thunder. Going up against the rookie Dolph Ziggler, so he'll have his work cut out for him. Let's send it down to ringside. A cocky young rookie who backs it up. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Hollywood, Florida, weighing in at 218 pounds, Dolph Ziggler. I don't know what to make of this guy. He's been walking around backstage for weeks, introducing himself and shaking everybody's hand. I've met him like four times now. Well, Corey, it just means he has good manners. Now, the problem with all this, Corey, is you met him in like this alternative universe because in 2009 you weren't actually even in the WWE locker room. That's true. That's accurate. This all took place in my imagination. He hasn't been in the WWE <laughs> for a year but he's already still on the show every week. I think that's one of the better intro commentaries in the game. Bright future in WWE. 
Here he is, the man, the myth, the American dream. And his opponent from Austin, Texas, weighing in at 317 pounds, the American dream, Dusty Rhodes. The WWE Universe already reaching a fever pitch upon their arrival. And we he's the son of a plumber, daddy. Highly anticipated match. And he's going to get funky Man like a monkey. He considers himself main event material, an uncrowned champion. He wants to show exactly why here tonight. Fans here in Rhode Island loving Dusty Rhodes. And here we have a superstar with a big chip on his shoulder. And we are underway, and Dusty's off to a good start. Wow, look at that spinning backhand right to the side of DZ's face. And a flapjack. Dusty really going after the rookie right at the bell. Now, that's not a smart move, Dusty. You're not going to get a pinfall that, that early. Dusty goes for the quick elbow to the chest of the fallen Ziggler. Arm breaker. And there we go. Some Texas style wrestling right there. Big right hands to the side of Ziggler's face. Ziggler reversed it, but a nice arm drag by Dusty. Reversed it right back. Nice move there by the American Dream. Right handed forearm by Ziggler. Elbow chopped to the face. Spinning roundhouse of his own. And Dusty Rhodes took it all and would not go down. Toe drag by the rookie got the American dream on the canvas and now Ziggler scrubbing Dusty's face across the canvas. I think, they're, I think they're wrapped up in the ropes there. Ziggler heading up to the top turnbuckle. Superfly crushes Dusty Rhodes right into a pin and only got a one count. Good move there by Ziggler. And a jumping elbow right to the chest. Dolph loves to have this kind of control. Dusty into the ropes, over the ropes, out onto the floor. And it looks like he hurt his back there. Ziegler follows him out. Elbow drop to the knee. Don't forget, Dusty had that bionic elbow. He's got an elbow of his own in his arsenal. Nice reversal by the American Dream. And, oh, he was going to throw some punches, and Ziggler reversed him and threw some punches of his own. He is a sight to be whole. Take a picture while you can, everyone. Ziggler with a chop. Right hand, another knife edge chop. He's got Dusty by the throat. Solid body blow, followed by a drop kick, but Dusty won't go down. Ziggler gives up in the attack, climbs back into the ring, and then right back out, count reset at seven. Both men back out on the floor once again now. Right, Russian leg sweep, out onto the floor, that thin mat. Boot to the midsection by Dusty. Tosses Ziegler back into the ring. That's where he wants him. There's Dusty showing off those boxing moves. Big right hand drops Ziegler to the canvas. Dusty hooks a leg. Two count only. Dusty explaining to the referee how to count to three. Ziegler just kicked out. Bionic elbow right to the chest. Dusty holds it for a pinfall. Wow, referee stopped counting. Dusty got screwed there. That should have been a three count. Ziggler lifted the shoulder, but not until after the third slap should have happened. Look at Dusty Rhodes off the top rope diving drop kick. Solid left hands to the side of Dolph Ziggler's face. He should go for a cover here. That drop kick alone should have been enough to put him away. 
You don't see that very often, especially from a guy the size of Dusty Rhodes. And he didn't go for the win, and it cost him. Nice reversal by Ziggler. Back elbow, overhand chop, right hand spinning around. Backhand. And Dusty's in a little bit of trouble now. Boot to the midsection. Nice reversal by Dusty Rhodes. He has Ziegler up. Walks him over to the ropes. And no, he's not going to toss him over the rope. No. But he power bombed him. He's going to go for a cover. Two count. Ziegler kicks out. I thought Dusty was going to toss him over the, ro the ropes there out onto the floor. But he's. He's got too much class for that. Dusty Rhodes. Oh, sidestep. Ziggler's Superman punch. And Dusty Rhodes with the shin breaker. He's got to follow it up with an arm breaker. Decent back and forth action here. Bionic elbow drop across the chest. Dusty holds it for a pin attempt. And he got him. Dusty Rhodes, the American dream, gets a three count on Dolph Ziggler. So Dusty Rhodes is successful in his WCW debut against the rookie Dolph Ziggler. It was Godspeed. It was probably the best match of the evening. The American Dream got funky like a monkey on the rookie Dolph Ziggler. And Dusty is undefeated in his WCW career thus far. Three stars is your official match rating. And hopefully we'll be seeing a lot more of Dusty Rhodes in the future. All right, coming up next, we have Kerry Von Erich in his final singles match. They are reforming the Von Erich tag team. Kevin had his final match, what, two nights ago. Kerry's final singles match here tonight against the Honky Tonk Man. I got to go, uh, I'm going to go with Kerry Von Erich on this one. Honky, Honky's been on a pretty good run. But Kerry Von Erich is a very solid singles competitor. And I think he wants to win his final singles match for a while anyway. Godspeed agrees he's going to go with Kerry Von Erich as his pick for victory. So let's send it down to ringside here at the Providence Civic Center. Kerry Von Eric and the Honky Tonk Man. Anticipating a good bout here. And here comes one of my favorites. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Memphis, Tennessee. Weighing in at 277 pounds, the Honky Tonk Man. The Honky Tonk Man in action here tonight on Thunder. Sellout crowd at the Providence Civic Center in Providence, Rhode Island, watching Kerry Von Erich's last singles match before he reforms the Von Erich tag team with his brother Kevin. the highest level of competition, and I think he'll get it tonight. The Honky Tonk Man is definitely no slouch. And his opponent from Denton, Texas, weighing in at 275 pounds, Kerry Don, Don Eric. Eric. This superstar has a lot of confidence, a lot of pride, but there's also a lot of respect for their opposition tonight. Oh, I get it. Great mind games at work. No, Corey, just respect. Oh, so this superstar is just an idiot. Got it. <laughs> a competitor who does not know the meaning of the word quit. He is ready for battle. I'm looking forward to seeing the Von Erich tag team back in action once again. They were very entertaining back in their days of world-class championship wrestling. 
And I see no reason why they can't be just as entertaining here in WCW. But tonight, Kerry's on his own going up against the Honky Tonk Man here on Thunder. And you are looking at one of the most unshakable superstars on the roster. Honky comes out with a strong start. Uppercut for him, and Kerry's down, followed by a fist drop to the face. And Kerry Von Erich wishing he was still back in the locker room right now. Leg scissors around the throat. He's using it as a submission hold. Kerry got loose. But the Honky Tonk Man is off to a very strong start. Carries over the top rope out into the ring apron. And Honky's going to bring him back in the hard way. Face first into the canvas. Honky's going to go for a pin. Strong start for the Honky Tonk Man, but not good enough to get a pinfall now. Knee to the back of the head. Hey there, Vassie. Running Bulldog by Kerry Von Erich. Thanks for joining, Vassie. How you doing tonight? Hope you're doing well. Nice suplex there by Kerry Von Erich. Yeah, we were just talking about that before. Everybody's pissed off at The Rock for taking Cody's WrestleMania away. Kerry Von Erich with a heel hook on the Honky Tonk Man. All the pressure on the ankle and the knee. Glad to hear it, Vassy. Glad to hear it. Nice reversal there by Honky. Luthez press. And several right hands to the face. And that took Kerry Von Erich by surprise. He went for a clothesline. Hey, Jerm boy. Thanks for joining, man. Hope you're doing well tonight. Gary Irish whips the Honky Tonk man into the corner and then slams him face first. Cody won't be denied, but he's going to be denied. Rock took his spot. That's what we were talking about a little while ago. A lot of people are not happy with that turn of events. Double axe handle by the Honky Tonk Man off the second rope. Exactly, Vassy, exactly. Uh-oh, Gary Von Eric has the claw hold. Locked in on the Honky Tonk Man. Yep, that's going to happen, Germ Boy. This is Kerry's final singles match. Kevin had his the other day. Kerry's got his tonight, and the team will be formed after the match tonight, and the Von Erichs will be reformed. Uppercut, forearm, and Kerry's the one on the canvas now. That's right, Bessie. That's what the Rock hit him with. <laughs> I don't care what story you want to finish. <laughs> he said, what do you think? I don't care what you think. <laughs> Honky Tonk Man. Uh oh, he's bringing him in. Shake, rattle, and roll time. Carrie's in trouble. Swinging neck breaker. Carrie Von Eric is down, and he is hurt. Honky has the leg hooked, and he got the three count. Carrie Von Eric goes down and defeat in his final singles match. Honky Tonk Man with the three count. He's shake, rattled, and rolled. Gary Von Eric. Here is your winner, the Honky Tonk Man. Solid win by the Honky Tonk Man. It was a good match. Good back and forth action. Gary obviously not happy about losing his final singles match for a while. Probably a little bit embarrassed as well. But now he can go back to the locker room and make some tag team plans with his brother Kevin. Three stars is your official match rating. They're heading back to the farm after tonight's action and they are reforming the Von Erich tag team. Don't know when we'll see them in action, but they are going to be reformed once again here tonight next match we have the Miz taking on John Cena Cena making his WCW debut here tonight personally myself I can't stand John Cena I'm gonna go with the Miz I want to see the Miz kick his ass never was a big John Cena fan just a reminder tomorrow night's live stream will be at 4 30 eastern time 4 30 please note the change in the start time 4 30 tomorrow 
Godspeed says John Cena's going to get the win. I'm picking The Miz. What do you guys think? Let's get the introductions. Should be a good match nonetheless. Byron, please stand up and pay homage. I'm not moving. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Cleveland, Ohio. Weighing in at 221 pounds, The Miz! Seriously, show this guy some respect for once in your life. I respect everything The Miz has accomplished inside the ring here at WWE. His personality, on the other hand, leaves a little bit to be desired. <laughs> yeah, Bassy. <laughs> the Miz... Faces a tough task here tonight in Providence, Rhode Island. Going up against John Cena. Cena making his WCW debut. Hopefully we will see him lose. No one in the history of WWE has done for this company what John Cena has. That's not inside true. Outside the ring, but outside the ring. Outside the ring, I'll give him that. He donates a lot of his time. From West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, John Cena! John Cena is a man who's always... <laughs> yeah, Bassie. Yep, you're right. Never give up and hustle, loyalty, respect. Now, I, I give John Cena all kinds of credit. As a person... Who I donate a lot of my time to charities. I'll do anything for battered women shelters, animal sh shelters, cancer. I do all kinds of charity stuff all the time. John Cena outside the ring, fantastic. Donates a ton of his time, and I have much respect for him for that. In the ring, I don't like his. I don't like his character. I don't like his gimmick. I never have. Outside the ring, much respect for him. But on television, he's an idiot, too. Have you ever seen the, these television movies and commercials and TV shows that he's on? He looks like a moron. And he's actually a pretty smart guy. Like that show Wipeout. We love the show Wipeout, but it's hard to watch with him as the host. He's so stupid. But as far as his charity work goes, second to none, man. Much, much respect for him. Right now, he's on the floor of the Providence Civic Center looking up at the lights, and the Miz super flies him off the top rope out onto the floor. Pretty definitive move there by the Miz to take control of the bout. And now he's going to throw some solid right hands right into the middle of John Cena's face. Fans here in Providence. Behind Cena, not appreciating the fact that he just ate some iron. Yeah, I, I think he's a terrible actor, Bassie. That, that's my own personal opinion. But these shows that he's on and the commercials he's in and the movies, uh, I, I think he's an absolute terrible actor. See, I like that one even less, Godspeed. I don't like his, his rapper gimmick even more than I don't like this Can You See Me one. Cena tosses the Miz face first into the top turnbuckle, gives him several back elbows, and the Miz is down. Cena's going to go for a cover. One count only, the Miz kicks out. Yes, he should have. He should have. John Cena. Giving the Miz some of his own medicine. Solid right hands to the face. Oh, yeah, Massey, I didn't know that. Miz goes for a cover. Referee was looking out into the stands. Didn't see it. And the Miz got a two count. Might have been three if the referee had been paying attention. He was just standing there looking off into nowhere. Miz with a right hand turns Cena around. Yep. That could be all. Mr. Cena is not going to see a victory tonight. 
The Miz just wiped the floor with him. Pretty solid victory by The Miz over Mr. Cena. Another crappy match tonight. And here is your winner, The Miz. We've had a lot of bad matches tonight. We have nights like this every once in a while where all of the matches are crap. Godspeed calls it an upset. The Miz isn't done with him. Stop the shit out of him, Miz. Stop him. Knock the breath right out of him. Get out of the way, referee. <laughs> uh, two stars is your official match rating. I don't even think it deserved that, really. But the Miz gets a three count on John Cena. He just embarrassed him. Miz saw plenty of them, enough to get the victory. So an unsuccessful WCW debut for John Cena. And I, I have to admit, I, I have to uh, agree with Godspeed a little bit there. I picked the Miz, but I didn't expect the Miz to win. So we can call that a uh, little bit of an upset. Yeah, that's true, Bassie. <laughs> that's true. All right, time for the main event here. <laughs> yeah. Time for the main event. The World Tag Team Champions are in the house. The Brothers of Destruction, they're the champions for now. They have a non-title bout here tonight. Main event on Thunder against the Road Warriors. Don't forget the Brothers of Destruction have a title match that sold out in a week and a half. They will defend against the Hart Foundation, who beat them in a non-title match. Last week, the only match the Brothers of Destruction have lost since WCW Universe has began, begun, whatever you want to use there, but that's the only match that the Brothers of Destruction have lost, and they have a title defense coming up. It's sold out, but tonight they got to get through the Road Warriors, and they're trying to get through it without being injured. As sold out is just a week and a half away. Godspeed says Brothers of Destruction are going to get the win. I have to Here agree. What do you guys strong. think? The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 610 pounds. The Road Warriors. We're looking at some of the most intense competitors in all of WWE about to take part in one of the most anticipated matches ever. I don't know about ever. Definitely an anticipated match here this evening. Road Warriors have been up and down during their time here in WCW. If they could get a win here tonight, it would be go a long way in bumping them up the rankings. And their opponents at a combined weight of 622 pounds, the WCW World Tag. Team Champions, Kane and The Undertaker, the Brothers of Destruction. You are looking at a team that delivers a tag clinic every time they compete, but tonight might be their best lesson yet. They are definitely intimidating. The question is, will they have the gold when all is said and done? That sold out. They lost to the Hart Foundation last week. They will now have to defend the titles against Bret Hart and Jim the Anvil Nightheart. That sold out. And if you don't think they're worried, you got to think again because they did lose to them. So the gold will very much be in jeopardy when they step into the ring. It sold out. Not in jeopardy here tonight, though. Non-title match. They want to get out of the match unscathed and uninjured where the Road Warriors 
want to put on a good performance and stake their claim to a shot at the title. Tonight's main event at a sold-out Providence Civic Center in Rhode Island on Thunder. Kane's going to start for the Brothers of Destruction. Animal for the Road Warriors. Animal goes right after the referee. I can't see what he's doing to him. I think Kane saved him. Kane goes right for a tag to the Undertaker. Kind of uh, a little too quick there. Big right hand by the Undertaker. Followed by a leg drop across the arm. And a quick elbow to the chest. Animal taking some punishment at the outset of the bout. Another quick elbow. That one hit nothing. Animal rolled out of the way. Animal has the big man up. What is he going to do with the Undertaker? Looks like we have one of those really long and unnecessary vertical suplexes on the way. And there it is. Perfectly executed by Animal has the Undertaker slamming his head into that top turnbuckle. Big right hand to the throat. And the Undertaker is down. Animal stomping on the chest of the dead man. Undertaker stunned. Boot to the midsection. Animal brings him in. He's got the Undertaker up. Pile driver. Not many people pile drive the Undertaker. Animal's going to go for a pinfall. And the dead man kicked out immediately. Animal playing it up for the crowd. Big mistake. The Undertaker gets over to make a tag. The Kane is in the match now. And he walks right into the waiting arms of Animal. He makes a tag. And here comes Hawk for the first time. He walks right into the arms of a waiting Kane who drops him across the top rope throat first. And then for good measure, he's going to choke him out right in front of the referee. Looking right at him, doesn't even attempt to count and enforce the no choking rules here in WCW. Hawk tags out, animals in. Boot to the midsection. Uh-oh. What is he going to do? He's going to pile drive Kane now. Animal has pile driven both of the Brothers of Destruction. And he is having his way in this match right now. Animal is going to lock in a camel clutch. I think Kane may be under the rope, though. But his foot is not, apparently. Yes, it is. He did, Vasa. He did. You're right. Yep, Triple H was good at that. Hawk has Kane up, tossing him by his head across the ring. The Brothers of Destruction are being manhandled tonight. You don't see that very often. Kane makes the tag. Undertaker coming back in. Hawk waiting for him. He's got the Undertaker up. Nope. Dead man slipped behind him and went after the knee from behind. Hawk is down and he's looks like he's injured there. Hip drop from the Undertaker on the shoulder. Dead man picks him back up. Body blow, body blow, boot to the face, and Hawk flies across the ring. Undertaker didn't get a one count. Tried for the pin, but that boot made solid contact to Hawk's face. Undertaker makes the tag. Kane and Hawk still down. Hawk has Kane now. He's got him up. Start counting, there we go. One, An unnecessarily two, long three, vertical three, suplex three, once again. Power. This one on Kane Let's delivered go. by Hawk. Perfectly executed. Hawk's going to get over to the corner, make the tag. Here comes Animal. Kane's up and waiting for him. There's a snapmare. Kane off the ropes. What's he going to do? Drop kick to the face. Animal. Took the full brunt of those boots. Right to the face. Oh, 
Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. Nice elbow breaks the hold by Animal. He's got Kane up once again, slamming his back into that top turnbuckle. And then he heads over to make the tag. Hawk comes in. Kane makes the tag as well. So now we have The Undertaker and Hawk. Oh, big body blows. Three in a row by The Undertaker. Hawk reversed the fourth one. Went to the well one too many times, did The Undertaker. Hawk has him up. Pile driver on The Undertaker. Second one he's taken here tonight. He must think he's dreaming. Makes the cover. Hawk goes for the pinfall. Shoulders are down. He's got the leg hooked. Two count. The Undertaker kicks out. The Brothers of Destruction are not. They didn't bring their A game here tonight. Hawk has the Undertaker toss suplex. The Road Warriors are manhandling the Brothers of Destruction. Not something you see very often. Hawk makes the tag. Animals in. Look at the military press on the Undertaker. Animal showing off his strength. He's gonna go for the pinfall. And Kane comes in to make the save. Animal tosses Kane over the top rope out onto the floor, not happy about his interference. Now Animal has the Undertaker up again. Come on. Nonetheless, The Undertaker and Kane not on top of their game here tonight. Hawk got tagged in. Undertaker boots to the midsection. Jack Knife power bombs him as he enters the ring. And now The Undertaker goes for a cover and Hawk kicks out at two. Undertaker can't believe it. He had plenty of power behind that. He's going to get over and make the tag. And here comes Kane. Hawk is still down on the canvas. Leg drop by Kane right across the throat of the fallen hawk. Kane has him up. Sidewalk slam. Hawk is in some trouble now. Kane's going to drag him around the ring for a little bit and then maybe go for a cover. He does. He's got the leg hooked and here comes Animal to make the save. Kane not appreciating. His interference and he drops Animal throat first on the top rope. But he wasn't paying attention. Hawk got behind him. Neck breaker on Kane. Hawk dragging him around the ring. They do that way too often. Hawk goes for the cover. Referee was confused, didn't know what to do. Hawk probably could have had a three count if the referee had made up his mind. Kane kicked out at two. Referee was extremely confused there. Didn't know whether to count or whether to take a victory lap. Hawk has Kane up, tosses him by his hair over into the corner. Look at Animal running power slam outside on the floor on The Undertaker. Undertaker's hurt. Hawk has Kane up, but Kane slipped behind him. Nicely done. German suplex by Kane. Animal and The Undertaker still going at it out on the floor. Here comes Kane. Got Hawk by the throat. Animal's back in his corner. Choke slam by Kane. Tossed him down to hell. That could be all. No. Somehow. Some way Hawk found a way to kick out at the count of two. Now Kane, though, has all his pressure on Hawk's back. Pulling on the chin. A version of the camel clutch. And Hawk is pulling Kane's fingers apart. Breaking the hold. Nicely done by Hawk. But Kane held it for a long time, so Hawk not feeling the best that he can feel right now. Nice body blow. Kane is down in the corner, gets a boot up. That'll slow Hawk down for a little while. Kane has him. Nice reversal by Hawk using his momentum. And he gets over to make the tag. Here comes Animal. Kane is down. Animal's going to go for a pinfall. The referee is right there. And here comes the Undertaker. He did not get him. Kane got a shoulder up. Undertaker tried to break it up and he missed. But Kane got a shoulder up at the last second. DDT there by the Undertaker on Animal, who throws a gut wrench suplex on Kane. 
And then he makes a tag. So Hawk is the legal man in the ring now, as is Kane. Nice big back body drop by Hawk. Close line and Kane is down and hurt. Hawk goes for the cover. Undertaker coming in to make the save and he does. Shut up, Byron. <laughs> Shut up, Byron. Hawk with the close line on the Undertaker. He's not the legal man though. Kane off the road, basement drop kick to the face of Hawk. He gets right up. Went for a close line and missed. Kane for the arm breaker. And he went for the leg drop and Hawk rolled out of the way. Overhand right by Hawk. Big right forearm. Kane is down. Hawk's going to make the tag. Here comes Animal Undertaker still out. Stunned on the floor. Kane's on his own for now. Military press by Animal. They should go for a cover. He'll take 15 seconds or so to drag him around the ring. And then he'll try for the cover. He got him. The Road Warriors get a pinfall on the Brothers of Destruction. Animal pins Kane. And the Brothers of Destruction have lost two matches in a row. Big win for the Road Warriors. Great chemistry tonight. Two men with one common goal can be a dangerous thing. They're putting the entire locker room on notice. That was, Godspeed, that was. Not many people saw that coming. The Road Warriors with a four-star match. Amazing win over the Brothers of Destruction. And the Brothers of Destruction have now lost two non-title matches in a row. We're going to have to see how that shakes things up. Let's take a look at what went down here at the Providence Civic Center for tonight's edition of Thunder. We started things off with a tag team attraction. The Soul Patrol, Tony Atlas and Rocky Johnson, got the victory over the Dirty Dogs. Nick Bockwinkle got a victory over Superfly Jimmy Snuka. That was not really much of a match. Diamond Dallas Page got the win over Tito Santana. And in a truly crappy match that did not live up to the hype, Doink the Clown was victorious over Razor Ramon by way of countout. Doink tossed Razor into the commentary table outside the ring, and the only thing I can think of is Ramon hit his head or something and got knocked out because he did not get back up. And Doink the Clown got a 10 count and a victory. The American Dream Dusty Rhodes was here. He got a win over the rookie Dolph Ziggler. The Honky Tonk Man got a three count tonight on Kerry Von Erich. Was not Kerry's best outing. He now retires from singles action and will reform the Von Erich tag team with his brother, Kevin. The Miz. Good win over John Cena. Not many saw that coming. And as you just saw, the Road Warriors with a non-title victory over the Brothers of Destruction. Hold on, I've just been given a note. I have just been given a note. Tomorrow night, tomorrow night on Saturday night, the Road Warriors are going to face the Hart Foundation, and the winner will be the challengers for the Brothers of Destruction. It's sold out. That's an interesting turn of events. The Brothers of Destruction lost to the Hart Foundation, giving them a title shot, but now they've lost to the Road Warriors. So there's all kinds of chaos in the tag team division. So tomorrow night on Saturday night, the Road Warriors will face the Hart Foundation with the winner getting the shot at the Brothers of Destruction at sold out. Well, that should be good. That should be good. That'll be the main event tomorrow night at Saturday night. So let's move the calendar over to Saturday night. That'll put us a week away from sold out. Looks like we have a couple of news items to report on. So let's see what they are. The Miz and John Cena are now in a feud. All right. Okay. So let's take a look at what the action is scheduled to be. We're going to have to change it up a little bit. 
Diesel will start things off tomorrow night against Cowboy Bob Orton. And once again, don't forget, live stream is at 4.30 Eastern time tomorrow. All right, Diesel against Cowboy Bob Orton. Greg Gagne taking on Harley Race. X-Pac, your hardcore champion non-title match against Tully Blanchard. We haven't seen Tully in a while. Uh, there's a tag team match, the East-West Connection, taking on Demolition. That'll be good. The Nature Boy Buddy Rogers will be here. I think that'll be his WCW debut. He's going up against Sabu. Razor Ramon will square off against King Kong Bundy. We got a triple threat match. The Blue Blazer, Bam Bam Bigelow, and Mill Mascaris. The main event scheduled to be the Red Army against the Moondogs, but that will not take place. The main event tomorrow will be the Heart Foundation against the Road Warriors with the winner getting a title shot against the Brothers of Destruction at whatever the next pay-per-view is sold out. Couldn't remember. <laughs> and we are now a week away from sold out. And it is on the schedule. If you look on my channel, you see my live stream schedule and sold out is now on it. If I remember correctly, I believe it's scheduled for next Wednesday. And I believe that will be a 4.30 start, too. Uh, we'll see how the weekend goes. But right now, that is scheduled for uh, next Wednesday, I'm pretty sure. You can look at my channel. First thing up there is the live stream schedule, so you can verify that. I'm pretty sure that it's going to be Wednesday. So, semi-decent night of action tonight. I can't say it was fantastic, but we've had worse. We've definitely had worse. All right, so let's see. The preview for tomorrow night's action is brought to you by CBD for Life. 20% off first-time users if you use the link down below in the description. So tonight's action was brought to you by Pure Hemp Botanicals, Fanatics, and CBD for Life. You can get great deals on all three of those websites by using the links in the description below. If you saw anything you liked, make sure you drop a like down below. I do appreciate that. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, now's a good time to do that. And once you take care of that, make sure you hit that bell icon to turn on all of your notifications so you don't miss out on anything. Fresh content goes up on the channel every single day. I go live several times a week, and you don't want to miss any of that action. Uh, have a good night yourself, Godspeed. Thank you, Godspeed, for joining. I do appreciate you, thank you, Vasti, for joining. Bonnie was here. Thank you, Bonnie. Germ Boy stopped in for a while. Thank you, Germ Boy. And thank you to everyone else who stopped in along the way. Have yourself a fantastic evening. Don't forget, tomorrow night, 4.30, start time for WCW Saturday night. And that big main event, the Hart Foundation, taking on the Road Warriors to see who will battle the Brothers of Destruction for the tag team titles at sold out. That should be good. All right. Thank you for joining. Have a great night. I will see you tomorrow at 4.30 Eastern time. Have yourself a fantastic evening. Thanks for joining.